Hello, thank you for joining me on day five of Makeup Revolution Week. And today I want to kind of go over with you the items that I've been using, what I feel like are my favorite, and which items kind of missed the mark for me. And hopefully this will help you if you are looking to determine what items to purchase from the brand. And if you are interested, I will have a video of me doing this look over on my Instagram, over on IGTV. So let's get started. I'm going to start with eyes. And I used this Reloaded Marvelous Mattes palette, and I've used it quite a bit off camera as well. And I will say that I really like this and would recommend this. And I will be popping up prices on all these items on the screen. I think that this is a great way if you want to experiment with color and you don't want to pay a lot, I would recommend using a cut crease or a concealer if you want to have more of a bang and a more saturation of the color. So I think that it's great because you can kind of, if you don't want it and you want more muted, just apply it on your eye as is. So highly recommend this Reloaded. Again, it's Marvelous Mattes palette. And in Monday's video, I did do swatches of this. So I will link that up above if you want to see swatches from this. The Flawless Foils, this I wasn't real impressed with. I will definitely keep on playing around with this, but I would say you could probably pass on this one. Yeah, I just don't really think that it was all that great and wouldn't really recommend it. For the cut crease, I do like this. This is the first item that I have bought that was specifically for cut creases. Before that, I've just used concealer from Clinique or ColourPop, their Fair, which is basically white. So I think that it's really similar. So that would just be your preference, you know, if you want something made just for that. I feel like the main difference between this and using a concealer is the applicator. A concealer, most of them you're gonna have a DOFA, and this is more of a brush. So if you're putting it on first, it's kind of just easy to apply with this, but it pretty much you'll get the same effect I feel like if you're just using a concealer. Okay now let's go on to face and I won't I'll run through these really quick. I did not do a video specifically on the one contouring stick. I got this a long time ago and I think that this color is just way too dark for me. I found that this was kind of hard to blend in so for me personally for a cream contour, especially if you're a beginner with contouring like me, I would recommend uh, the e.l.f. contour palette. I felt like that was easier to blend in than this one. The two things that I just recently got in the gift with purchase from Ulta was the big bronzer and the strobe balm. The bronzer I've only used once, so can't really say. First impressions is it's pretty good. The strobe is what I have on today. And I do think that it's nice. I like it if you want just a subtle kind of highlight. As you can see, it's not blinding. So if you just want more of a subtle one, this is one of the best ones that I've tried for just a little bit, a hint of highlight. I just realized I don't have any of their powder highlights, so I can't really compare. My favorite powder highlight is Ofra, but from the other highlights that I have, I'll just quickly go through these because I just did a video on it. The strobe stick is okay. The jelly, I would say if you like that texture or if you have mature skin, maybe you want to give that a try. For me personally, I like the champagne liquid the best. I felt like the rose gold was a little dark for me, but I really liked the champagne. Oh, and just to kind of recap, I haven't really talked much about either one of these. This is the, oh, it's the brow pencil. And this is in light brown. And I did use this today. It has the spoolie on one end. And then you have this on the other end. And a lot of the eyebrow pencils, I don't usually do a lot with my brows, but when I do, a lot of them that I've tried is kind of like the Anastasia, where it's just a skinny or the It Cosmetics, where this one, I think it's coming across, is definitely more of an angle. And for me personally, I do like that. Uh, like I said, I don't really do a lot with them, but I like, it was just kind of easy to shape it. Since I'm not really cutting out a shape, I'm just kind of mimicking and following along. I felt like this was very 
nice, it's lightweight, so it's kind of just easy to use. And the eyeliner, I did talk uh, briefly about this in one of the videos. This is the Flick Pin, and I really like this one. Uh, let me get it off here. Okay, so here is the felt tip, and there you go. I just feel like it's, I like the shape of it. It's just very easy to apply on and just to kind of flick it out. It's very lightweight and I like the felt tip. It just comes to a nice point. So it's, I feel like it's very easy to work with. For blushes, I think I have talked about this so much on my channel and I've used this so many times, but I just really, really like it. It's the blush palette melts it's called and it's their cream blush i just find that these are just so easy to apply if you get too much you can just use your powder brush and kind of tone it down i just feel like with the different shades here you can use it with so for so many different looks if you're going cool tone or warm tone. for concealers i've tried the fast base concealer in c2 i do like that i will be doing a working on doing a comparison between this and the Maybelline Age Rewind because I think that these are kind of similar formats. This is definitely a wetter formula than like the e.l.f. Camo concealer. And for foundations, I'm going to say that this really is going to be your personal preference if you want a stick or a liquid. But I don't do full coverage foundation, so I don't know if you're a full coverage gal if you would how you would feel about these, but I would say that I would recommend giving them both a try. If you usually like sticks foundations, if you've used the Bare Minerals, you can watch my video where I compare this to the Bare Minerals. I'll link that up above. I definitely recommend giving it a whirl. You know, again, it is more drying formula. Make sure you apply moisturizer before. Of course, the liquid foundation is a more wet formula. And I do feel like this probably would be a little bit easier to build up to a full coverage foundation. And there was a little bit more of a breakdown around my chin area with the liquid versus the stick. But that is me personally. I've read some comments that were left on the video with the stick and it just really seems like it is personal preference. Some people, this is too oily for them. Some it's too dry, it breaks off, it doesn't last. For me, personally, it lasted seven to eight hours. So it really just depends. The banana powder. I had heard so much about this and seen so many posts on Instagram and YouTube videos about this. So I thought, I've gotta try this and see what it's about. And I do like it. Oh, you know what, actually, let me just tell you the one thing about the foundation, the liquid one. There is a scent. When you put it on your face, I can't smell it anymore, but when you're first putting it on and you have this close, you can smell it. And it kind of smells like a lacquer or something like that. But like I said, once you apply it, that smell does go away, but just so you know. Okay, back to the banana. Bananas made me think of a banana scent, which made me think of that. Okay, so I do like this powder. I think that I was a little hesitant since it's the yellow color, but like today I have it on. I just put it on very lightly and I think that it just gives an overall finish. I don't really do baking or anything like that usually. One of these days I might try it again. I tried it a long time ago and it looked awful, but I do like this. My only complaint with this is, you know, when you pour it into the cap, it's just it's hard to get enough in here and then to get your brush in here to really get a lot on the brush. So I might say once I empty out, if I use up a Bare Minerals or another powdered product, I'm gonna keep the lid and kind of use that as you know where I can sift it into. So that's my only kind of complaint about this is I seem like I either can barely get enough or I get way too much that comes out of the sifter. But overall, I really like it and I think that it lives up to the hype about it. So lipsticks are the last thing I'm going to review. My favorite lipstick is, this is Looking Ahead, this is what I'm wearing today. And it's in the bullet shape. So when you compare that to, this is the Renaissance lipstick, which is more just your traditional lipstick case. And this one is kind of more like a MAC lipstick. I like the formulation of this one better. 
I found that the Renaissance lipstick is a little bit more of a drier formula. The colors are nice on both, so I can't really, you know, like complain about the colors. It's just this formulation is much creamier. So the bottom one is Looking Ahead, and the top one is the Rebirth from the Renaissance. The Salvation Velvet Lacquer, and this I wasn't real impressed. I've had this for a while, and this was just okay. I never really was able to wear it that much because it's so bright. I think if you were a darker skin tone or tan, it would look so pretty. But with me being pale, it just, it really didn't work for my skin. This one I was surprised at. This is the Gloss Lip Gloss in Skinny Dip, part of the Nudes collection. And a lot of times I have trouble with nudes kind of making me look like I'm washed out and dead. But this one I felt like was a good one. I was really surprised because when you swatch it, it looks so purple. But I have worn this in a previous video and I actually like it. I like the formulation of it. I would say I like this one better than this. It just, this one is a little bit more sticky. I hope that that helps. I'd love to know down below if you have some favorites from Makeup Revolution. And this is your last day to enter. This is the Revolution Redemption Palette Unicorns Are Real. And again, I will be giving this away to one person, obviously one person, but um, on Monday's video, to enter, you need to leave a comment down below and also put hashtag revolution giveaway so that I know you want to be entered. You must be 18 years or older. Currently, this is only domestic and, oh, and you need to have your subscriptions public on Monday when I announce the winner. That way I can confirm that you are subscribed to my channel. And again, this is the palette that you'll be So with. I hope that you enjoyed watching. I appreciated you coming on back. And I will see you on Monday. Bye.